Hey guys, welcome back to Butler's Customs. So this is episode three of our Yamaha XS650 chopper build. If you haven't already, jump on and check out episode one and two on our channel. But in this video, we will be tackling the C-pan, the sissy bar, and the forward controls. So let's get into it. Go. Let's go. It's now time to start making the seat. I've already cut out my pan to a rough shape. Now I'm laying out the pan on the leather bag and shaping the nose and the edges of the mallet to give me my initial shape. Now I have my desired shape and I have the nose of the pan how I want it. My legs will sit either side of the raised area nicely. I'm now hammering around the edges to remove any large hammer marks before I move on to the English wheel to smooth out any small imperfections. Now I'm smoothing out all my hammer marks and those small imperfections we spoke about with the English wheel and giving the raised sections a little bit more radius. smoothing off all my edges on the bead roller using my round over dies. These can be used for rounding off the edges of fenders. But you can see here I'm using it to smooth off the edges of the seat pan to remove any small imperfections to make it more comfortable for the client to sit on. Now I'm running the seat pan through the stretcher shrinker and I'm shrinking the edges to give me a tighter radius on the curves. pan is now made so you can see here I've added in the mesh and I've added in heaps of bead rolls and extra sections here so put a lot more detail in it than I originally planned I wanted this to be one of the main features of the bike because it's actually going to go get chrome plated as well we've um, got the nice flat base on there and then this will be our pivot point so she's all done and ready to go to chrome I've got this kind of where I need it now and I've got my little piece of flat bar as my mock-up. So what, what I've done, I've welded my bolts on 
that are holding onto my rear brake master cylinder for the rear brakes. So I'm now going to put a piece of tube on the frame and it's going to be welded up underneath here. And then I'll have another rod, which is going to basically go through the tube at the same size and it's going to move back and forth through that tube. So this tube is supporting my rod from <clears throat> swinging and stopping this master cylinder from doing this. So I'm going to now make all the rod and we'll get that working correctly. So our full controls are sweet and then we'll run a line from the back here all the way up to our rear brake caliper and we should have some rear brakes. So let's start cutting. This tube was about half a mil too large and this was slopping around on the inside. So I've actually cut the ends off and I've welded on some pieces that I've machined up. Uh, so now we don't have any slop and that moves in there perfectly. So now this will get welded to the underside of the frame and then that can float in there nicely without any slop uh, or play I should say and then we'll be good to go. So time to weld that to the frame and get this working. All right, so we have the master cylinder on the frame now. We've got our tube tacked on. So now when we push this rod, it slides through the tube, pushes on our master cylinder like so. And then this is going to be a piece of rod that'll wrap around the exhaust attached to this, so when that swings, it moves like that, pushing our master cylinder in, and then we'll have our reserve sitting up here like that, and then we'll have a hose running underneath the bike that'll come along and mount to the underside of the rear brake caliper. All good. So I've stopped off at Exclusive Metal. Mark is a master fabricator and a blacksmith and it's absolutely incredible what he does. So Mark's actually given me a hand to make the sissy bar as he has a power hammer and we're gonna use this power hammer to give the sissy bar more shape and texture. So once we brass plate it, it will reflect the light more due to the shape hammered into it with the power hammer. Rightio, so the sissy bar is all bent up and I'm just tacking on these brackets now and then I'm going to step on to doing the exhaust brackets. Um, so what I've done, I've had these little arrowheads laser cut out by a good mate Dave and what I'm doing is I've hammered them so they'll fit around the frame like that. And then we're going to have an exhaust bracket come up and mount on like an arrow, basically like that. So that's what you're going to see. You're going to see these arrow heads. Just dropped it along the frame like this just as something a little bit different to break it up a little bit. So on to hammering and bending all the arrow heads to fit the frame and then I'll uh, get everything welded up. All right, so we're going to hammer these around a piece of round bar, same size as the frame, one inch. So let's get the hammering. As you can see, we've got curvature now. 
still got about 10 to go. done now. It's time to get welding. So I bent up these pieces of stainless and put that little cutout section in it and what that's going to do is sit up underneath the exhaust pipe like that and then that cutout is going to rest on top of the arrowhead. So go under there like that, sit on there like that, weld on to the exhaust and weld onto the arrowhead and then we'll have a hole in the top of the arrowhead here that'll drop down on top of a threaded and then we'll put a dome nut on the top all right guys so all the fabrication is now finished uh, I'm about to take all the parts now to chrome and brass plating and then once that comes back obviously we're gonna start assembly in our episode 4 don't forget to check that out where you'll see the assembly of the bike we're gonna also make the battery box mirrors test the bike and we're gonna take the bike to a show and get some professional photos done so We'll keep you in the loop in that video and we'll take everyone on the ride with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see all our future videos and you can check out all our past videos as well. On our website, if you want any of our merch, you can jump on there. We do Kevlar denim vests, our own leather gloves, welding aprons, parts and accessories and heaps more. So if you're interested, check them out on our website, link down below. Thanks again for watching guys. We appreciate the support, all the best.